to some samples that I've had that I didn't get to. Uh, Crown and Crane, once again, I, I think I did one a couple month, weeks ago, and um, today is Deep Ellum. That's what we're going to be using, and this one happens to be tallow, and I think I used the uh, vegan, uh, a vegan sample that I had, and um, it's, uh, it's probably a formula that has been most likely enhanced by now, but um, I'm going to do it anyway. We're going to make a, a bowl lather, bring it to the face and talk about the results. So uh, stay tuned. Don't go away. So the bowl is empty as you can see and um, today we're going to, here's the soap in question right here, right? And just so I can look at the tools, this is the uh, Occam's Razor Nano, which I'm going to be using to do the shave, and the um, wet the face brush, which we're going to be using. Um, let's open this up uh, by reading the back. Maybe I can just give you a uh, a quick look to see. That was handwritten in, as you can see. Uh, most likely, that's now part of his label going forward. Um, it is still available. This is still available from uh, Crown and Crane. So uh, anybody who would want to. Uh, Try this out, definitely can. I'm gonna open this up right here. And we can see that it's uh, very nice. It has not lost or discolored anything. Um, there's the stamp that you can see. And we're gonna take, it's very pliable. So as you can see, I can pinch off some here. And uh, let me just see what I can do by placing this into the bowl. I think this is about as much as I want to put in here. Although you know me, I you know I'm gonna pinch a little bit more. Maybe over here. But you guys do what you want to do. You put the soap amount that you want to put in. This is not a tutorial. I have explained that many times. These are reviews of products, not tutorials. So if you see me shave and you don't like the way I shave, uh, you do it the way you want because it, I'm not teaching how to do it. I'm only reviewing the product. So here we go. There it is. Soap is in the bowl. And here is the brush that we're going to be using. Let's put a little warm water on it. And uh, I'm going to get it a little bit warmer. There you go. And let's empty the contents of the bowl in there. You know what? Or I should say empty the contents of the brush in the bowl. And um, let's go ahead and do the, the lathering. So here we go. Now I'm going to put the uh, notes of this on the bottom because I forgot to do it. But, you know, shake some things up a little bit. All right, look at that. It's, we're getting really good stuff here. Just a couple more minutes. Not minutes, but just when I can see it, I think I got it. I look for peaks, that's what I look for. And they're happening. A 
Look at that. Isn't that something? Okay. Here we go. That's really good. Yeah, peaks right there, see? So, let's bring this to the face and do the rest of the shave. Okay, so uh, I have about, man, six days growth, so let me wet the face. And now, here's the lather, so let me apply it. That scent is, is there. It's light, in my opinion. But remember, I do have an old sample. And it's been laying around for a number of years, I think. So you can't judge the scent because the age might have affected it. So... If you're curious, they do sell samples on his website, so... And this one has four available in stock. <laughs> so if you're really curious, <laughs> you, better, you better jump on it. All right, and here's the razor. Let me just wet it down a little bit, and uh, away we go. So, uh, I don't know if I told this story last week, but, you know, my gout that I had been diagnosed with came back on Friday, and I had to call the doctor on Saturday, and uh, it was so bad I couldn't walk. Now, I was on, I was on pills for a month, and then all of a sudden, uh, my pills ran out, uh, the treatment was over, and, you know, everything was going good for about a week. And then I woke up and the pain was excruciating. Oh my God. So uh, I called the doctor. <laughs> I called and they had hours from like, because uh, now the hours, is a d the hours are different. It was like 9 to 12 and they were gone at 11.15, they were all gone. So it was a, a pain in the ass. Uh, I had to call like a special number to get a hold of them. Finally got a hold of the doctor on staff. He looked at my chart, which they do, I guess, online. And he said, no, we're, we gotta treat this as, a, as an ongoing thing. So uh, they gave me my prescription, different set of pills, because I told him the ones that I got last time were $175 for, you know, for a month. And uh, he told me he was going to give them to me anyway, because he says, That's, these, these worked on. And he goes, all right. I said, okay. So he gave me like two prescriptions for everything. Two, three prescriptions. One was like a anti-inflammatory, uh, like a steroid, I guess. And then the other one was uh, uh, the pills that I had before. Uh, the pill, this new pill, right? That I haven't had before. And the third one was the one I had before, but a pharmacy said it's going to cost a lot of money 
And the funny thing was that if we called the doctor and had him change it from capsules to tablets, it would be no cost at all. It's ridiculous. I don't understand that at all. But that's what they said. Because I guess it's the the rules of, you know, whatever, I don't know. I guess it's the rules of the insurance company, what they see as being uh, something they cover, I guess. I don't know. But, so, she said, why don't you take the pills that you have already? I'll call the doctor on Monday. We'll convert the capsules to pills. And if you think you need it, come down and pick it up. Well, so far, when I woke up the next day after taking just one round of these pills, everything is back to normal. So, I'm good. <laughs> Very nice. Very good. That was a great shape. Very good shape. Let me get this out of the way. This over here. All these little things. Now, uh, you know what? Let me see what kind of. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll take uh, the 1K. Let me shake it up a little bit, and uh, let's put some of that on. I think I'm going to bring back the 1K just for another go go round uh, during the holiday. If no one has uh, experienced the 1K, uh, they get they can do it, and if they're running out of theirs that they already have and they enjoy it, they'll be able to pick it up. So um, maybe sometime in after September. So uh, I had a great shave and I hope you have a great shave. I'll see you next week.